Hello Aries, this is Devs and this is your TGIF weekly reading for Friday the 22nd of September 2023. Aries, I somehow want to say, hey, how are you? How's life? I don't know why. Um, you may be greeting a long lost friend. You could be greeting a group of people you haven't seen for a long time. There's a sense of excitement and anticipation and oh, it's lovely to see you. I don't know where that's coming from, guys, and it's unusual for a TGIF, but <laughs> maybe that is what you got on your mind. So Aries, let's find out. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Now, the deck that I'm using is a new one by Chiro Marchetti. If this resonates, my uh, details are down below in the description box. Um, and if you want to join the channel, I put out weekly videos just for my members every Sunday. And oh my goodness, the last reading... Ooh, was a big one. But anyway, <laughs> here we go. So Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the weekly reading for my Aries. They want to come out. Aries, Friday the 22nd of September 2023. 22nd of September 2023. I'm sorry, guys, I'm seeing someone naked. Um, are you ready to bear all to someone? Open up to someone? Um, you know, come forward as your true, authentic self with a lot of clarity that you want to express to someone. There's something about that. You maybe wanted to bear all to a community of people. You may be a, a little bit nervous but you're quite excited about this yeah yeah swinging from fear to oh my goodness this is so exciting but i'm a bit uh, i'm a bit stressed what are they going to say when i express the truth okay wow i don't know where this is coming from aries we'll find out let's have a look guys so aries yeah excitement and fear now um, with a five of coins, Aries, you've been feeling a bit left out in a relationship. Things are not working. No emotion or passion between the two of you left. But you didn't want to let go of it. You were sort of thinking, no, I ploughed a lot into this connection. So even though I'm not getting what I want from it emotionally, you could have finances tied up in a house in investments with a partner and you were reticent to let that go. And so Aries, I've got to be honest, um, you moved into the Seven of Swords, okay. You may have had a fling with the Ace of Wands. And surprisingly for you, what was supposed to be a one night stand or a couple of nights of passion turned into more. And you felt you really wanted to build on this third party. You were enamoured with this third party. And I think for a time, Aries, with the two of pentacles, you've been juggling a third party with a long-term commitment. I feel, Aries, what you're realising is, king of cups, I think what you're realising, Aries, is that you are in love with a king of cups, and you are ready to make a judgment call because what you've been looking at is, yes, I put a lot of time and energy and effort into a long-term partnership, but I'm not happy. It's just money, right? And so I feel, Aries, with the energy of the Justice card, now you could have been in a commitment with a Libra or an Earth sign. I feel, Aries, you're ready to go through a legal process to detach from your long-term partner because you want to be single. The reason you want to be single is I believe this King of Cups is in love with you and I feel as if you two want to build a life together. Very simple. So you may be expressing to a community of people, it could be your family, you know, uh, I'm so sorry but our relationship is ending. But you're very excited because you're looking forward to a future with your King of Cups. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go, Aries. This is the Tarot of Mystical Moments. So what do we have for my lovely Aries? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, Aries, I think you're just 
realizing that it's sort of now or never. I think you're getting out of a relationship. I feel as if I'm definitely connecting with a female Aries who is falling in love or has fallen in love with potentially a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio man. And Aries, you are really wanting to be with this guy. Now, it could be a same-sex connection, right? As in, you could be a masculine Aries in love with a masculine King of Cups. It could go that way too. But you're ready to get out of a long-term situation that hasn't served you. You plowed so much time and energy and effort into it, but you still felt left out in the cold. So it's sort of now or never. That's what I feel. Michael's saying one more. Okay. All right. Let's have a look, guys. So Aries, you're sitting in your masculine energy. So you could be female just feeling empowered. This is you with a king of wands. I think you took charge of a situation where you felt very disconnected from your partner. Yes, it was stable with the four of wands. Financially, things were good. But with the energy of the moon, you were keeping a situation secret. With the eight of wands, you were actually messaging someone else quietly, privately. And you began juggling your long-term partner with this other person. I feel with the strength card, Aries, you simply couldn't make a decision for the longest time. You held back from making a decision. And you sat thinking about the two of wands energy. What decision do I make? Do I leave my karmic partner? Do I stay with it? Because Aries, this might have been a situation where you were with your long-term partner for a very long time and you two may have built up a very strong financial foundation. But mm, Aries, Queen of Cups, I think you know, Aries, this is your energy too. I think you know that you are in love with someone who is coming in with a Knight of Pentacles. So this is someone who loves you. They have a lot of love for you. You have a lot of love for them. Now, you could be deciding to move forward with a Libra or a Sag or a younger Earth sign. But with the Wheel of Fortune, you feel that it was destiny that you met this person. And I think you're ready to shift forward into a brand new cycle. Yeah, because you're in love with somebody else. I think this is you deciding to bite the bullet and to say to someone or a group of people that you are ready to detach. I'm really sorry, but I'm in love with somebody else. I've got to go, right? Mm -hmm. All right, people, moving into tarot. Here we go, Aries. This is the witch's tarot. So what do we have to start this reading for my Aries? Thank you, Michael. Ten of Wands. So Aries, I think you've been in a long-term relationship, but it became very heavy, pretty stressful. Oh my goodness, the cars are flying. Yeah, magician. What you realised was you were actually manifesting further burden by staying in this relationship. Yeah, you were manifesting more and more burden. It wasn't getting easier. The relationship wasn't improving. So, with the energy of temperance, Sagittarian energy, I think, Aries, with the three of pentacles, you began to get to know someone else. It could have been a work connection, Aries. You could have met this person at work. With the Nine of Swords, you couldn't stop thinking about this person. You couldn't stop thinking about this person. The Chariot might have been a Cancerian. What was on Aries' mind? Yeah, but with the Queen of Pentacles, Aries, you were very stable in your relationship. You were really stable. So with the Five of Swords, what you did is you sort of ended up spending time with this third party, hoping that your partner wouldn't find out, you know, you couldn't help yourself. Yeah. So you sabotaged a Ten of Cups relationship, although I have to say, I don't think it was very happy, um, because you wanted to develop a relationship with this other person that you had feelings for. 
Yeah, so even though you were in a relationship, you started a fling situation. Things went from there. Cars are flying. Empress, so you, Aries, stayed in your marriage, but you ended up having a fling with someone that made you incredibly happy. It's what I'm getting. High Priestess, but you kept it secret. You kept it secret. This card flew out. So, Six of Swords, Aries. You simply wanted to be happy. You simply wanted to move to calmer waters. You may have met this person away from your workplace or away from your home with your partner so that you two could keep this going. No one would find out. Yeah, you didn't want people to know that you were developing this other connection. Yeah. Eight of Swords. But you quickly came to the realisation, Aries, you were really struggling trying to make a decision between your partner and this new person. You were just in your head 24-7. Queen of Swords, things got worse with your partner. You could have become very cold. You know, arguments, disagreements, because what you really wanted with the Three of Wands was to head off in a different direction to be with your lover. So in the nicest sense, Aries, you could have subconsciously moved into the energy of gaslighting your long-term partner because you were desperate to get out of your relationship. You could have found yourself starting arguments with your partner and not really understanding why you were doing it. Well, you were doing it because of the frustration that you felt underneath because you just wanted to leave. You didn't want to be with your partner anymore, right? Yeah. Hangman. So you could have fallen in love with a Pisces masculine. You were trying to see things from lots of different angles, but you stayed in your commitment. Nine of Wands, you stayed in it. Even though you knew that this relationship was coming to an end, right? We've got a sun sinking. Even though... You felt the relationship was nearly over. You were determined to hang on to it. What happened? Okay. Aries, I think your king of cups said to you, shockingly, I love you. I mean, I know this was supposed to be a fling, but I love you. What did you say to him? Oh, Aries, I'm in love with you too. Two of cups. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What happened after that time? Eight of Cups. After that time, Aries, you may have actually walked away from this third party. It's almost as if as soon as you realised that both of you had fallen in love, it was no longer just a fling, I think the intensity of the emotion scared you and I think you just detached from your lover. Yes, the death card from your lover. You detached from your lover. Could have been a Scorpio masculine. Yeah, and this is you, Queen of Wands. Because it almost got too intense. It got too real. It got too real. Yeah. It became more and more difficult with the energy of the moon for you to hide this other person from your partner. Could have been a Cancerian masculine with the moon. And I think you went straight back to your long-term partnership emotionally. You tried to patch things up. Yes, High Priest. You tried to patch things up for the sake of your partner, your long-term partner, the community, right? Yeah, you were determined to hang on to your marriage. Four of Pentacles. But with the Three of Cups, Aries, there could have been some gossip. There could have been some tittle-tattle in the community. Wow, yes. Three of Cups, the lovers. 
So Aries, I think your partner found out that you were having a fling. Gemini energy there. And said to you, okay, I think we need to talk about divorce. What did Aries say to their partner? Page of Swords, I don't want a divorce. No, I don't want a divorce. Wow. But I think by that time, it was a little bit too late. Aries, Scorpio energy. The trust had gone in your long-term partnership. Yeah, Knight of Wands. So Aries, I think what happened was you were on the brink of ending your long-term partnership, even though you desperately still wanted to hang on to it. You'd been found out to have been in a secret situation with your lover and I think things were on tender hooks. Your partner wanted to discuss divorce. You were saying no. And I think you tried to patch things up with your partner. Yeah, Six of Cups, you ended up going back emotionally to your long-term partner to try and patch things up. How was Aries' long-term partner feeling? Six of Wands. Aries, your long-term partner felt as if they'd won you back. They were victorious in winning you back. But with the Six of Wands, they felt as if you were wearing a false mask, that you didn't love them anymore, that you were actually still in love with the third party. So what's been happening recently between Aries and their long-term partner? Okay, Six of Pentacles. I think the two of you have actually, again, started to discuss divorce. What's Aries' partner energy? King of Swords. Okay, he's had enough. I think he's realised that you're in love with this King of Cups. And I think what he's saying is, if you love this King of Cups, go for it. Yes, he wants to talk to you about the King of Cups. What he's saying to you, Aries, is, I'm ready to let you go. I know you want to hang on to this relationship. I know it's been nice and stable for you. But I cannot keep this relationship going with you any longer knowing you're in love with someone else. What is Aries saying to their partner? I still haven't made a decision as to what I want to do. Two of Wands. Oh. But Aries, in the nicest sense, this is painful for your partner. How is Aries' partner feeling? They feel left out in the cold. Because it's as if you're wanting to hang on to this relationship, or you have been, but there's no love there. But there's no love there. So what is going to happen between Aries and their partner now? Okay. Okay, Ace of Swords, yeah. So Aries, I think with this King of Cups moving towards you to say, I do want to commit to you, I think you feel ready to let your long-term partner go. I think you simply feel it's time. So what is in discussion here now? Yeah, the financial aspects of your relationship, Ten of Pentacles. So you could be bashing out the terms of a divorce, Page of Cups, you two could have a child together, so you may be sorting out child support. Or with the Page of Cups, Aries, what you're doing is you're saying to your long-term partner, I'm so sorry that it came to this, but I think we've grown apart. I met someone that I did not expect to fall in love with. They want to commit to me. So even though I didn't want to let this go before, I think I'm ready to. And I think your partner agrees. I think your partner agrees. Yeah. It's going to be difficult with the Two of Pentacles. You're going to have to juggle money. But I feel as if, Aries, your partner may even admit to the fact that they've had a one night stand too. What is Aries' partner saying? Eight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, I had a fling at work as well. So Aries, your partner's being pretty honest with you. 
They didn't need to tell you that they had a fling with someone else too. It's almost as if they're trying to make you feel better. Don't worry, Aries, because yeah, I gave in to temptation too. I think it's the right thing. Your partner may have had a fling with somebody at their work. And so I think you're just calling it quits. I do. I think you're just realising, all right, it's just really done. Wheel of Destiny, both of you are being pushed onto a new cycle by the Divine. Wheel of Fortune twice. What is going to happen in the future for my Aries? Oh, wow. Aries, you're going to reunite with someone that you love. This is your dream come true. The sun, you know this person is going to make you incredibly happy. And with the king of pentacles, Aries, this is a masculine who really wants to commit to you. He really wants to commit to you. This is your king of cups. He wants to get serious. Yep, he's coming in. Knight of Pentacles with a serious offer to commit. So Aries, as soon as you sign the divorce papers, I think you two may be moving in together. What is on Aries' mind? This is super exciting, guys, for you, the fool. So Aries, you're going to take that leap of faith um, because you don't know if it's going to work out with this guy because you two were just lovers for a period of time. But Aries, you fell in love, right? So Knight of Cups. There's a lot of love between the two of you. There's a lot of love. And with the energy of the Hermit, I think you're looking back, realising that this was the right thing to do. You felt isolated in your relationship for such a long time. For some of you, you could be moving forward with a Virgo. A sign who's a Virgo. Eight of Wands, lots of messages of passion. Both of you very excited about coming together and building a new life. So Aries, this was a difficult start to the reading, but a beautiful ending. Um, from here, let's get into messages. Here we go, divinely guided messages of love. So Aries, let's find out, first of all, what you'd want to say to your long-term partner, okay, that you have just detached from or you are detaching from. What do you want to say? Okay, escape. So you decided to build on a third party situation when you realized that your relationship hit the rocks. You were not happy in your long term partnership. And so I think you just sought solace in the arms of somebody else. Unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. So Aries, what you're saying to your long term partner is in the nicest sense, I actually was just wanting to have a fling because I felt a bit disconnected from you in the relationship. I did not expect to fall for the third party. I didn't expect to fall in love. It didn't go the way I planned. So what you're saying to your long-term partner is, it's not as if I left you to be with somebody else. I just wanted a bit of flirtation. I wanted to feel sexy again, attractive again. I didn't expect to fall for the guy, right? I just didn't expect it. So this is you sort of apologising. Guilty. I feel pain from the damage I caused. So, Aries, you do feel a bit guilty, but remember that your long-term partner is also going to admit that they had a fling too. Right? What else are you saying to your long-term partner? detachment. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. So part of the reason why, Aries, you moved towards someone else was that I think you wanted distance in the partnership to figure out if you still loved your partner. And I think you realised that it might have sort of fallen into more of a friendship, you know, rather than a relationship. I wish I could right my wrongs. Aries, you may wish that it didn't happen in this way. All right, unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. So Aries, what you're saying to your partner is that you did feel left out in the relationship. 
Maybe the passion was missing or the connection, the emotion was missing. But you felt like your partner didn't care. Mm. Okay, so you're admitting Aries that you sabotage the relationship. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. But I feel as if both of you are going to move on and start new lives. So Aries, don't feel guilty. And remember, your partner's going to admit to having had a fling as well, okay? But I think you're going to move forward with this King of Cups. I think he is really in love with you. And I feel as if he's going to offer you a really stable relationship. He wants long term. So guys, a beautiful reading. I'm leaving it there. Have an amazing weekend. Take care of you. And I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, Aries.